thank you so much tonight for uh, stepping in for the the horrible stuff. Sure, um, nah, it's been a while. <laughs> yes, and that, well, it, I was we we're talking about that with Luke. Uh, Tara has pretty much consistently not missed a week for like a long, long time, and then all hell broke loose. So, yep. So she's you know she's probably saved up some holiday days. Let's face it. <laughs> Uh, well, she's here, and we're doing this, and, uh, well, um, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> oh, that's a great start. That is, it is good. Then, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of this week. I, I, I think I feel like I need to, because we're, 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 we're everywhere from the Holocaust to pooping, so it's, we're going to have a that's fun. a hell of a gambit. It that's... is. We, we have a fun night ahead. Okay. Well, uh, can we can we start with the less disturbing one? Or is it... Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air Alliance, go out on the worldwide interwebs and all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call Crazy. "What the f- Night. wrong with you?" And um, yeah, we're starting this week uh, in Tennessee. Um, God only. So you may have heard about this one. It kind of blew up a little bit on social media. I don't know how far into the wider world it went, but uh, there are people who have this hyperbole issue. Um, they take they, they they conflate things that should not be conflated because they have very limited and stupid ways of expressing themselves. Uh, there was a hat store. Intent. Did you hear about this, Dom? I did not. I'm I'm not going to pretend like I'm ready because I, I did like last time and it, I was not. So all right, I'm going to put the link in. Uh, we'll use Skype to send you the link so I don't have to screw up uh, Skype to do it. Um, not Skype. I'll use Twitter to send you the links. So there you go. That, the opposite of the thing you said. Okay. Yes, cool. my my word brain. Good. <laughs> all right. Um. So uh, this comes to us from Tennessee. Tennessee hat shop in storm over not vaccinated Star of David badges. <laughs> there we go. That's there we go. That that's the response. A hat shop in Nashville, Tennessee, that reportedly sold not vaccinated badges resembling the yellow Star of David, which Jewish people were forced to wear by the Nazis, has removed the post promoting the out item following extensive criticism online. And here is that post for posterity. Um, um I wow. Um that, like, the very fact that you're putting it on yourself is an instant disqualification for the comparison. It's like I it's like they don't even under they just understand that Holocaust bad thing Bad th- I don't look this is bad thing. Same. Same same. <laughs> S- oh, same, oh, same. She's got she's got the, the Karen look, I've got to say. I I, I don't <laughs> like using that word very often. As reported by the Tennessean, social media users reacted with disgust. Um such reports echoed controversy this week. Uh blah 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 blah. So what happened was pretty much every large scale uh, Stetson and uh, other large providers for her store, um, they all pulled out. They stopped. Provi- they're, they're like, "Oh yeah, you can't sell our shit anymore. We're we're not." Yeah, no, good. Yeah. And at that point, she's like, "You guys, come on! I was just, I was just doing. I didn't mean it like that." What other possible interpretation is there? Like. I got nothing. I <laughs> I have already I already need a hard reset. This is the first one. Yeah, I know, right? The the the, the absolute disconnect from reality there is staggering and you know oh. like I, I watched the show. I thought I was ready, but that's Wow. Yeah, we we we're, we're starting with yeah, because you know being vaccinated is Wait, so not being vaccinated is... Wait, what? Choos- I, choosing not to be vaccinated means you're a victim now? Yes, oh, I, of things. Equals profit? I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't... 
it, it, it's it's like fucking Drax in fucking Guardians of the Galaxy metaphor. That's that's not that's not how that works at, at all. Yeah, no, that's that's just offensive on every level. Like every conceivable human level of decency has been violated. Like I, you don't take one of the greatest tragedies in human history and use it to promote your hat shop. Is that what she was doing? Like, yes, she's selling them at her hat shop. What? Did, did she hope she'd get the reputation of the the, the brave anti-Semite store? I, I, I'm just really confused. Like, how does this equal profit? Like, is she really expecting so many people to be like, "Yes, I too am an am a victim. I shall buy your many stars." Or it didn't. It didn't exactly work. And it's also like, what did she hand cut this? It's like yes. so frayed. Yes, she did. Yeah, like she didn't even have the balls to sew it on. Five dollars a star. Yeah, she was selling those for five bucks. Yeah, that kind of didn't work. I hope that was worth it. Um, so, uh, next up, um, have you uh, seen this show Sweet Tooth on Netflix or you heard about it? I've heard, yeah, that's the cooking show, right? No. No, okay, then no, nope. I'm not. I'm well off. Nope. Way off. Okay, it's a comic book. Uh, was original. The It was based off this comic book where a plague hits the world, which strangely timely. Um, yeah. And the only people who were spared from it who were immune are these children that were born with animal traits. And it's it was this independent comic book that was put out a while. And it's been a Netflix picked up and they're making a show out of it. And they decided they were going to do some viral marketing. Uh oh. Yeah, it it um it was unwise. USA Today wrapped its newspaper with a fake cover about hybrid babies with antlers to advertise new Netflix show. Now, I want you to look very... The cover here is the entire... This is the entire front page of USA Today. Yeah, no, that's... How did they... How much did they... I, mean, I know newspapers are probably a failing business, but, like, how much did they pay for, pay for that? Quite a bit, I would imagine. I mean, what, what are you... Orson Wells? What is this? <laughs> also, you, the only way you would know is there's a tiny little word in there, very small print, that says advertisement. Right. Otherwise, it just looks like a a, uh, a regular, which this is something we really needed the media to do in an age where people believe if you drink bleach, uh, yeah. you will solve Some, viruses. Well, somehow someone's going to link this with a, vi a vaccine. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, th th this is, I don't understand who the fuck in their, in the executive chain of command thought, what, this will be fine. I mean, someone who's seen War of the Worlds, presumably, well, listened to War of the Worlds, presumably. <laughs> That's, that is, like, such bad timing for that, like, like, yes. I, I also have to wonder, what is the Venn diagram for people who read the newspaper and people who watch Netflix on the regular? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know, sometimes I, I watch Netflix stuff fairly regularly, but I don't read newspaper, well, because, you know. Hey, subscribe to the New York Times. Going to save you from darkness. Now here's some darkness. No, that's that's not. That's not that's, yeah, no, that's. I mean, honestly, like it's coming down from the last one. It's an improvement, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's well, still like we started with the Holocaust. Where can we go but up? Yeah, exactly. Like I, you, you kind of blew the load early on this one, but uh, I hope I hope there's nothing worse than that. Than that but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, no, I just like what what did they. Do they understand how viral marketing works? Because like you ain't gonna be shit. Like, there's no good press that comes from this. No, because it's like I, I swear, someone I, I know the words. Oh, who could possibly believe this is real? Were 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 uttered some somewhere during the discussions on this yeah. by people who have not looked outside their window lately. Did that's literally a legal defense? Apparently, like the woman who was uh, that well, they call herself the Kraken or something. She. Her legal defense in the moment is no one should have believed me. That's, I yeah. 
she's being sued by the uh, the uh, voting machine company. Dominion, yeah. She had, yeah, and her, her legal defense is, well, this was, I, what I was saying was so stupid and so insane, it's not, like, reasonable for me to be prosecuted for it. So, yeah, apparently just, I'm insane, or, well, you know, you, you're an idiot for believing me is a, is a, is an actual legal defense. I think only in America? I, I, would, I, I would imagine so. Yeah, I, I think every other place on the planet's like, no, 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 that's, no. Yeah. No. I just, th nothing, it's like you said, nothing good comes from this. You don't get good, no one's been saying, oh, what an innovative advertisement. Yeah. I mean, no one's clicking share on their newspaper either, so this isn't going to travel any further than one person, aside from people saying, wow, this is a bad idea. You're going to get called out or nothing. That's your two options. All these motherfuckers, they think they're like Don Draper or some shit. They all, they're still watching fucking Mad Men. They're like, I, I just revolutionized Africa. No, you didn't. They put so much work into this. It's a fake article and everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're trying a bit hard on the Photoshop, but it probably stills from, stills from the episode, I assume. Or yes. Maybe would have, yeah. Well, uh, not, let's make you feel at home. We've got one from uh, the old country for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> this one isn't, admittedly, comparatively, this one isn't quite so bad, but it's just like, I, I don't think... Y y Someone's lacking some concept linking here. Aylesbury, driver being pursued by police, hides in police station. I mean, I wouldn't have expected that. I'm not going to lie. Like, that's the last place I would check if I was the police. <laughs> driver being pursued by police, pulled over, ran from his car, and hid in a police station. Thames Valley Police saw the funny side of the incident, tweeting, we were worried the driver stopped his car, ran to building to hide. Luckily, that building was the police station. Um, a small number of items were thrown inside the station and had to be briefly closed so they could be recovered. The items would be sent off for testing. Uh, 25 year old for man was from London was arrested on suspicion of being concerned in the supply of drugs. What was the plan here? Like, <laughs> what, 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 was the, what was step two of this cunning escape? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like they're not going to expect that, but that you that's like the only place you will always have policemen. Like there's not going to be like, oh well, you know, crime's done now, so just shut it down, you know? Leave all the doors unlocked. It's it's not even like we we had people who like w w they would ch the, have the police chase them all the way to their front door and run inside like it was home base, which mm. it's not that way. This is not it, this is not even that. Oh, they were trying to capture the police. So he's the police now, because he's captured their base. So, he's got, so they have to. They, now it's their turn to run from him. Genius plan. <laughs> oh God, I, that is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fair play to him. I've no, I never would like. I don't think anyone's tried that before. I assume. Uh, Flutter, Flutter another channel is like, hi, dad, I'm in jail. I like it here. It's <laughs> nice in jail. Mm. Yeah, no, I mean, like, I guess it saves the police time. So hey, I mean, one say, day for them, you know, was, they get to knock off early, you know, yeah. well, wait, where does it say where he was hiding inside? Is he just like, I just crap. think he just ran in the front door and started throwing things, which. Uh, hmm. I, I okay that that's a new one. Um, I, I I haven't seen that one on Law and Order before. Uh, yeah, it, maybe it's like doing a really low budget like LARP of Assault on Precinct Thirteen. <laughs> yeah, the, the channel someone just said this Assault on Precinct Thirteen remake is really stupid. Ah, uh. uh. yeah, no, I mean I yeah, so it's like ten out of ten for originality. <laughs> this is like zero for any chance of success. So yeah, I don't know. You know, he chose his path and he stuck to it. You got to respect him for that. Like, well, I don't know what his lo what, what's going through, Like, what was the logic there? I really have to know. <laughs> the logic there was learn to read, kids. Yeah. Number of thought small items were thrown. Thro like, my mind is immediately going to throwing stars. Like, probably not the answer. <laughs> um, I'm assuming he was trying to hide evidence by like, oh, it's yours now, police officer. <laughs> 
What? That's not my drugs. That must be your drugs. Yeah. That's... Please, please, yeah, lots of drugs in the police station, probably. Right. Uh, <sighs> the next one is kind of a follow up from a few weeks back. Um, you weren't here for it. So you're, what happened was a, 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 a grown woman trying to get uh, Instagram likes uh, went undercover in a high school. And and passed out her Instagram on paper, which was fun. Passed out. Oh, her... I, when you said uh, like undercover, I thought you meant she tried to be a high schooler. Like it's like she, she did jump precinct or whatever. She, it's called. Yeah, like, she did. But uh, to, uh, but to promote her Instagram, and she got busted and arrested because she kept running away from security. Well, we were like, that's stupid. Who would do that? Well, apparently, it's it. Every time that happens, someone else like, oh, I'll try that. Woman, 30, arrested after posing as a 13-year-old student in Texas school. I'm not judging, but honey, no. <laughs> no. Honey, no. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, a 30-year-old woman was arrested after she was allegedly found trespassed on school grounds and posing as a student. Casey Garcia was arrested Tuesday. Uh, after the El Paso County Sheriff's Office had staff within San Elizario Independent School District identified her as she, after she posed as a student within one of the district schools. She's charged on suspicion of criminal trespassing and tampering with government records. Sheriff's Office Wait, she said, forged, like, transfer papers? Several social media posts has documented the incident where she posed as her 13-year-old daughter. What, so, so the plan was here to like expose these kids or to get the kids to subscribe to her. Like, which, uh, th this the plan one, here? apparently, she said, okay, she's claiming it was a social experiment. It's not so, it's that's that's just stranger danger. That's not all right. Like, let's, let's, that's not an experiment, it's just a really serious crime. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's a Washington Post article that expounds on it, which God help us. Um, the, the how do you do fellow kids meme must have gotten a lot of work out of this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. She's saying she did it to, quote unquote, prove security flaws. Oh, well, thank God. And, she's a, and obviously she's posting video online like they all fucking do. Um... <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I mean, I didn't go to high school in the U.S. Are they meant to be like Fort Knox? Like, can it, can you not just yeah. walk in? You no, 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 no. Not in America. There are metal detectors. There, are, you have to have IDs, school uniforms. There are police walking the halls, all because we'd rather just not get rid of the guns. So right, yeah, they don't. Yeah, we don't. Our schools aren't like. Alcatraz in the UK because we don't have guns, so that's nice. Yeah. Like so, like so. She her excuse was, "I'm just like doing it to prove that I could." Yes. Which means that apparently she shouldn't be prosecuted. No, 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 no. no. I I just proved I could do it, so I I shouldn't have to go to go. I shouldn't have yeah, to be, should be in trouble. thanking her because, like, if she hadn't done that, some other adult woman might have snuck into the school. <laughs> Instagram likes, and that would have been worse somehow than this. Right? Like, I mean, how far did she make it through this charade? Apparently, she made it there all day, and nobody really call, called her on it. Like, I were, were all the teachers just being really polite. Like, wow, that thirteen-year-old girl looks. Not great. Like, <laughs> she looks fine for a thirty-year-old woman. Don't say but she... anything. Don't yeah. say anything. Was it, um, uh... sweetie? You're doing fine. Don't say anything. No. John Mulaney was just saying, like, I don't feel like I'm going older. I'm just growing like tired. Like, it's like, oh, this that child looks like he hasn't had a lot of sleep. <laughs> like, I mean, like, she, a lot of confidence there to think she can pass for thirteen, and apparently it lasted long, like, longer than I would have expected. All I can say is that most healthcare in America doesn't provide vision, so. <laughs> you might have a point there. That's... And, you know, oh, so, so is she in jail now? Please tell me she's in jail. Well, she's out on, she's, she's been, she's out on parole. Oh, not parole, she, but like, on bail. This isn't stuff, like but... a, let the white people get away with it sort of situation. Oh, she's... no, she's, she's getting to get prosecuted, so. Okay. 
Alright, so whenever Luke is on here, he complains that there's always poop, which isn't true. Um, That's a weird thing to argue over. Uh, he, there's always, he's like, I hate it because there's always poop. Well, well, now, Luke, if you're watching, um, oh, I get Luke's poop. Do you get it? Yeah. Okay. Trump man busted for serial pooping spree. Now, in in terms of what the fuck was the plan here, a 70 year old, 70 year old Ohio man told cops he was a quote Trump man, confessed to repeatedly urinating and defecating in front of a neighbor's home because the residents are Democrats and support Joe Biden. So is this like he's a Trump man or he's the Trump man? Because is that like the worst superhero name ever? <laughs> <laughs> so what? I'm I'm trying to, to wrap his argument appears to be I disagree with your politics. So in order to persuade you, I am going to shit in front of your house. Does raise the question. Is there an amount of shit on your lawn that can convince you to vote Republican one day? <laughs> is there a mathematical equation we can come up with to figure out how much mass of poop is enough to change a political view? We, we definitely shouldn't do this, but Damn. science may try someday. Fuck, we might, we might be like building a whole new poli-sci course right here now. Like, yeah, like seven, 70. I mean, the, don't get me wrong, the cutoff point for not shitting on people's yards is not like 69 <laughs> or like even 50. It's it's all the way, way down there in like three, maybe. I'm no, um, I am nowhere near, I, I'm just, just in my 40s. I'm nowhere near 70. And yet just the sound of this exhausts me. You think, like, because like, didn't the last person who pooped, no, they put a gun on someone for po in a poop place incident. He was like Jerry actually too, wasn't he? Like, do you think we just reach an age where poop suddenly becomes the your whole world? Oh God, I hope not. I mean, just the idea of getting up every fucking morning, walking over to your neighbor's lawn, and dropping trowel. Right? I'm exhausted just thinking about that. Three fifteen a.m. Like, did he? Yeah, did he wake up or did he stay up? But either way, that's like he—he he was not only willing to defecate in public, he was like destroying his sleep schedule like I'm, just, just I'm now picturing alarm goes off a montage set to mr blue sky gets out a big grin on his face dun 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 uh, goes across the yard boops on the neighbor's lawn <laughs> and that's a misdemeanor like yeah apparently yes i sweet like, I just, uh, what, like, no, I'm, I'm with you. Like, what, what, again? What was the logic here? What was the, what was the game plan here? Was he just going to keep shitting until they change their political views? The, the shitting like, will continue until morale improves. Like, when, when, when did this start? Was it after the election? I. That's the other thing. It, it it's over. It's done. He's gone. Yeah. What are you trying to accomplish now? Like being a Trump man isn't a political view anymore. You're just supporting some bloke, you know? And of course the picture they have with it is Trump making out with a fucking flag. <laughs> it's so, it's so weird. I, yeah, okay, I'm just saying like, find me a fucking Democrat who's fucking on lawn and, <laughs> and shit in the Well, Last one tonight is Florida, and it is just all out. Balls to the wall. I dare you to make less sense. So we, we've had to have one of those. Naked Akala woman tased after destroying Outback Mojo Grill in Rampage. That's old, so many things. Good old That's naked like... Rampage. And they tased her? You'll find out why in a second. Okay, let's see, because that seems like an overreaction. <laughs> Kala woman was charged with aggravated battery after being found naked and erratically throwing alcohol bottles at Outback and Mojo Grill. 
That's fair. I felt they should have led with that, not the naked thing. Police responded to the Mojo Grill uh, because reports a 53-year-old Tina Kindred, quote, acting out of control. The report stated the woman was topless and banging on tables and windows. She'd flipped a few tables and was last seen trying to get into a customer's car. It was found driving recklessly in the parking lot before exiting the parking lot. According to officers arriving at the Mojo Grill, another call was received of a similar incident. The what, call- she moved on to the next restaurant? <laughs> yes, the call was from the Outback Steakhouse on the same road. Call reported Kindred arrived naked and started acting, quote, crazy while breaking things in the bar. Okay, so she wasn't mad at this restaurant. She was just we'll get there. throwing shit. Like, there's, there's, like, this wasn't a vendetta because they hadn't given her the right pancakes. She was just like, <laughs> wherever she went, she was just topless and violent. <laughs> this was just her day. The officer on scene opened the front doors of the business, saw glass and liquid all over the bar. Kindred was found naked with bottles in her hands. When she noticed the officer, she threw back her arm with a bottle of liquor in her hands. Kindred then threw the bottle at the officer, and the officer was able to dodge it. A second bottle was thrown at the officer's head. Uh, the officer then, you, yeah, when you start throwing bottles at them, they're going to get out the taser. That's, and you're lucky if they don't shoot you dead, if I'm pretty honest. <laughs> um, Kindred said she chose Mojo Grill because of the owner and felt as if he was not honest. She admitted she entered the business, but claimed she was denied business, so she started turning tables. Okay, that, that, sure. That's, that's, that's that's Mojo Grill. What did the steakhouse do? Did they also? She admitted going inside out back with the intent to destroy the bar. Um, (laughs) it gets, well, if you think about though, if she, she is holding the high ground on honesty, at least, like if she felt the bar owner wasn't honest, she is at least, she is like, yeah, no, I did that. (laughs) <laughs> I'm here. I am here to I aim to misbehave. Medical staff discovered she had a possible fentanyl patch on her pubic area. But it was later found she did not have any narcotics in her system except THC. Uh, what's, what's THC? That's pot. Oh, okay. Which I, is... This is not... This is. I would not expect that from somebody who's high on marijuana. Yeah, no, I I also would have assumed she'd shove something up inside her in some way. Um, apparently, she went the lower door. Uh, well, she didn't, but they thought she did. They make uh, patches. They make fe- I didn't know they make fentanyl patches. That Yeah, pot does the opposite of this. He was, so. <laughs> that's, yeah, I, I love the photo of the, the cop with the taser, because it's like clearly a video that's happened in the act, but they've had to crop it so the naked lady isn't in it, so it's like... Yeah. Just the cop's reaction and his face kind of was like, well, this is happening. Like, I hope if, if, I hope when I'm 53, I have this kind of energy. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I just, I'm already too tired for smashing bars. I, I, I just wish I could apply it better than, than this. Just how, you, you have to wonder if there's a moment in the middle of all this when you're half naked Hucking bottles of booze. Does, does, is there a moment when when your brain goes, "What the fuck am I doing?" If it didn't occur to you before you started, I think you're just committed. Like, <laughs> there's, there's no like. That, was there planning? In, like, was did she go there with the intention of get a naked rampage, or did the owner just say like refuse her service for some unrelated reason that she was just like, "I'm gonna wreck every restaurant on this street." I, like, I don't know who pulled her pin. I really don't. I mean, so but she's also like pretty hench because she threw a bottle after she was tased by the sounds of things. Like she said, he went to throw it, got tased, still hit him in the head with the bottle. So it's like, well, you know, I think she might be like the Terminator or something. <laughs> the naked Terminator. Well, no, the Terminator was the naked Terminator. Now that I think mm-hmm. about it, yeah, he, he was. This was Shit, just like did Skynet is- start in Florida? That's got to think about that now. That would make so much more sense. Like, so yeah, this is just like the worst. Like we've had a lot of bad Terminator sequels. This is probably the worst so far. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, every single Terminator movie starts with a naked Terminator going on a ramp. Holy shit! One or more, one or more naked Terminators, and occasionally like naked humans too. But a lot of naked in that. And I think about it. Yeah, hmm. now, you're kind of 
You're kind of blowing my mind Terminator right now. Terminator was the original Naked Rampage. Schwarzenegger was your was your first kindred spirit of all your your news stories. See, I'm I'm not talking shit about Terra, but it's it's interesting to do this show with someone who's actually seen all of the movies. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I'll say, hey, Terra, have you seen Terminator? She's like, I haven't seen that. I'm like, and you're here, just like, yeah, they all start, all the robots start fucking naked, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's true. <sighs> so. <laughs> Uh, I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is is once once you're in it naked fucking bottles of cops you're kind of in there you just, yeah no just, that, I think yeah I, I can't imagine there's any clarity of thought going through your mind at that point but I could be wrong you you know you probably don't hear the stories the naked rampage just stops like, actually never mind we've learned that that there there may in fact be a level of shit that would cause someone to change their political leanings. One has to assume in the infinite universe, eventually there is a shit to political ratio that has to be tipped. So it's just science, just basic math. We've learned that just because you call it a social experiment doesn't mean you're not getting arrested. Unless you're Chevy Chase. No, wait, who's who's the guy from Jump Street? Chip, no, uh, it's not Chevy Chase. That would have been a very different movie. It's that would have Johnny been Depp. Johnny Depp. Oh wait, no, no. Channing Tatum. Yeah. Oh, Channing. Oh, you're thinking. I'm thinking. Oh, Christ. I'm thinking of the original. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. You neither of those are Chevy Chase, though. Neither. No, but they should have been. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've learned before you tried to flee from the police into a building. Read sign on the building. Oh, well, you also, yeah, also proved you don't get to be the police just because you captured their base. Yeah. So that would be just one hell of a weird way of doing things. Um, we've learned that if you think people would not believe your very stupid thing, you haven't been to America lately. Yeah. There is no upper limit anymore. We're just we're just done with any sort of cap on this. And what people believe. And finally, unless the thing you are upset about is the Holocaust, do not invoke the Holocaust. Yeah. No, yeah that, no. that is like a flat rule for everything. Yeah, I mean, even, was it Goodwin's Law? Doesn't Godwin's Law, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's... The I feel so sorry for him because his, his law is completely misunderstood. Uh oh, he's had to amend it himself these past few years. It's like, God damn it! <laughs> yeah, I loved his social media post, which he said, "No, guys, you can if they're Nazis, call them Nazis. Don't you don't lose if it's true." <laughs> right. But yeah, no, that's like just don't, 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 don't do, don't. Why, why, why would you do that? Why don't? No, <laughs> not. Whatever you think is justified, it's not. It's just not. It, it's not. There's like there's no there's no wiggle room here. <laughs> just don't. That's that that pretty much that could sum up the entire week. Just don't. Just just don't. Just don't. I thought I thought I thought I was ready. You know, I I live next door to the this place in Simi that had the free hugs no masks sign out front, so I thought I was acclimatized, but. No, this this is I I really didn't think they'd go there. America. Fuck yeah.